Jonathan Kovac with your Timmins Capuscasing Weather Channel. Cyber Studios based in Timmins covering real-time weather, historical or 12-hour weather reviews from Hearst right through to Matheson. No introductory slide as I usually have a blue wall behind me with these intros, but not tonight. We're getting right into the thin of things, or thick of things I should say, with this Colorado low, which has not budged too much, too far, too fast from Sioux City, Iowa. It is still taking the name on the Great Lakes with the cold front cutting across the middle part of the central U.S. states below the Great Lakes. And this is the warm front that I forgot to show you on this morning's show. This is what will trigger the active weather between southern, central, and northern Ontario beginning tonight, mostly into Friday, as the air mass temperatures will change over quite a bit dramatically in the next 12 hours. The good thing for today, folks, we have this high pressure over Hudson Bay, 1,040 millibars. It's still far away and strong enough to produce some kind of clearing trend temporarily this afternoon or some parts of the viewing area, as based on the observations you saw a moment ago, clear skies at best for some areas and fair skies to just variable clouds for other regions as well. Seasonally cool, but fresh temperatures at zero or above that for today. Your satellite picture in the motion for the last 12 hours shows you the winding system over Iowa headed towards Wisconsin, Minnesota, and the Dakota states. There's that cold front in formation. Impressive high cloud tops represented by the oranges and the red colors very similar to what we see in the summertime with blow up thunderstorms. In this case, it's gonna be blow up freezing rain, snow, and mixed precip for Friday. Last but not least, real time winds. This is a feature I should like to show during times of active weather, which shows you the backward spin. This is the wind velocity around the low over Iowa. And we can see the high pressure spinning forward over Hudson Bay. Northeast winds across Northeast Ontario, but they're mostly variable between five and 10 all day today. Nonetheless, there's a chain link. You can see here just with the way the winding is, this is like a figure eight, something beautiful to look at. We'll leave you with today's observations and historical weather coming up all after this.